Hello, some people say that Alexander the Great was not great. I disagree with that statement because he unified the East and the West, which probably would not have happened without him. He also got revenge for his father's murder. That's a pretty loyal son. He also kept his father's dream alive. His army was so intimidating that he made King Darius flee the flee and leave his family left behind to be slaughtered. Well, that's all I have for you. Alexander was a young boy when he came to the throne of Macedon. Many residents questioned his ability to rule the kingdom. Although, many remembered his father as the heroic character that he was. Through Alexander's short time alive, he was in a competition with his father. Alexander was an amazing ruler in a short time alive, although he did commit many crimes with his co-workers and friends. Alexander's father should be remembered, but Alexander shall not be remembered as great. Alexander's poor strategies led to unnecessary deaths of his troops. Even though Alexander was considered great, he committed multiple crimes in war, even on his friends and co-workers, including selling women and children to slavery. It was normal back then for kings, though. Even though Alexander the Great was greatly, even though he was greatly outnumbered, he unified the East and the West in only a 12-year period. He did unify the East and the West, but while he did it, he killed many people to do so. Okay, so um, that 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 was just a consequence of war. The army that Alexander took to battle was the army that Alexander's father, Philip II, had created. Also, Philip II invented the army formation of the phalanx. Alexander never did any of this by himself. He just took his dad's ideas, genius ideas, and said that he did them. Like anyone great, a lot of their glory came comes from the one that one from what came before them. Why wasn't his dad so great if he took his dad's ideas. He visited one of his wounded men in battle, which is one reason why he's great. But he also killed his men, even though he acted nice to them in public. Alexander's uh, army had only 35,000 men, while the Persian king had one million men in his army. And he, even though he was greatly outnumbered, his army was so intimidating that King Darius III fled and, le and leaving his family to be slaughtered, but Alexander let them live. Was someone who is not great really leave their army to live? His father made the army, not him. He was the one who fought and won. He may have won the wars, but most of the army formations were his dad's. Why would he make a new army if he already had that one? He wouldn't make a new army, but he, it's not him being great. It's his dad being great. Even though it's passing down, it's still his dad. Nobody ever recognized his father, but everybody recognized Alexander the Great, so. He said that Alexander let, his, let the enemy live, but that was actually his father that let them live, not Alexander. Well, I mean, that's, that's not what happened. It was that that had nothing. That has no. That was Alexander that did that. So it happened. Um, he let them live during Alexander's campaign, which was after his dad died. So it must have been Alexander the Great. Going back to what you said about how his father wasn't recognized and he was recognized, he made himself recognized, and his father wasn't trying to like be famous. He did this because he was a more social guy and didn't have more, he didn't have the intelligence like his dad did. In the debate, you heard your side say why he was great. You guys proved that he did a lot of amazing things in such a short life. He also took lots of victories in many different countries and named them after himself. We said that he should not be great. We proved that he did a lot of bad things in his life. Killed many people to unify the East and the West, including his best friend. 
killed many soldiers and Aristotle's nephew. Since Alexander was taught by Aristotle, that's just cold. <laughs> Alexander the Great also proclaimed to be the son of Zeus because he thought he was so great. Alexander thought, was thought as great, but he does not need to be remembered as great. Although Alexander the Great died young and made some not so great choices in the time he was alive, he was a good leader to who served him or was under his rules. He stood for Greece and even though outnumbered, he united the East and West in 12 years and avenged his father. He spent two years planning military strategies and won every battle he was in. He was also intimidating in his battles. Some disagree, but he wasn't a bad man. Not a good man, but a great man. Thank you. 